Leaders are not supposed to blend in. They're not supposed to blend in. That's what I was trying to do. It doesn't matter if you're four foot two, if you're seven foot eight, you're supposed to stand tall in what you do. Now, I don't know about you, but I believe that educators and education is the last noble profession on earth. It really is. Every educator in a building is a leader because those kids are watching everything that you do and everything that you don't do. And it is not your job to blend in. It's your job to stand out. The other thing that deals with the world of tall people in education and leadership is, as I said, tall people, we have a different view of the world, right? We see the world a little bit different. I said in a crowd, I could see right over it. You have the vision of where it is that the kids need to be, what needs to happen. And it's not a straight shot. The last year and a half to two years have told you it's not a straight shot. But they're holding on and they're waiting, watching you go where you need to go. And the other thing about being tall in the world of education and leadership is, as I said, tall people, we don't fit. We don't fit in cars, I don't fit in chairs, I don't fit anywhere, right? But do I give up? No, I gotta get going. I, because I don't fit in an airplane seat doesn't mean I don't fly anywhere. It means that I gotta get there anyway. Is it uncomfortable? Yes, but I make it work. Same thing in the world of education. It doesn't fit. The last year and a half has told us it doesn't fit. But we make it fit anyway. We, it's not comfortable. But let's go. Let's make it happen.